Hi, welcome. Today is going to be a pretty boring, normal, soft speaking video. Um, I'm going to talk about a few things that I think are really, really cool. And hopefully it's the kind of video where you kind of just... Um, <laughs> well, hopefully anyway, you'll just have a nice time. We're going to talk about stuff like John Wick. I recently saw John Wick 3 and it is incredible. So I'm going to talk about that series. I also recently took part in Little Darling 44. It's a game jam. Um, some of you know that I took part. And uh, we came in 7th place out of 1,809, I think. So I'm going to be talking about a few things, those included, and I hope you enjoy. Starting with John Wick. It's pretty fresh in my memory. Uh, I recently saw the first and second again in preparation for the third. Dude, that series is incredible. It has action like no other movies. Like, seriously, because of the third, it put it into like my top five, I guess, series. Because Lord of the Rings is my top one, right? And if that trilogy counts as... Uh, <laughs> If that trilogy really counts as a single movie, then I guess John Wick does too. Because you have to see them together. You have to have that build up to the third movie. It's, um, it's actually incredible. So, <laughs> I really, really recommend it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's just the action in the third one especially is just insane. The choreography, the cinematics, uh, sorry, cinematography, they don't like cut all the time. They just have like wide shots and see, you, it lets you see the whole battle all the time. Um, there's a scene in the third movie relatively early on where they're basically just throwing knives at each other and it is hilarious. It is so funny. It's it, like... It's weird how killing can be so fun, but it's, 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 it's just fun, you know, it makes you laugh really hard, really hard, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, man, I think I've never, I don't think I've ever been to a movie where people laughed as hard as they did watching John Wick 3, it's kind of insane, so, if you want to laugh, I first of all watch the first and second, really good, and then go watch the third. You'll really, really enjoy it. I guarantee. Um, as for Little Dari, the game jam that we took part in, me and a few others, um, we worked really hard on it. We actually managed to fit in a uh, intro animation uh, sequence, which is the first time we've done that. I've always wanted to, but it takes a lot of work, and it's sort of an, like an extra. But we've managed to get all the bells and whistles into this game. Super proud. Um, and the result was great, and it paid off because we came 7th, as I mentioned, in overall. Uh, we came 13th in, uh, in the audio category, and I am the primary audio person. I handle the voice acting, I do the writing, so that all that is sorted. I do the direction, I also do the sound effects for the most part with some assistance from a couple others. Um, so I'm, I'm super proud. 13th in audio and 7th overall. That's a new record. We've never come that high. Um, coming that high is really... It's, it's really fun. It's like... It makes you think, like... Just like a few different people rating it, because it's random people rating it, right? So everybody gets slightly different results. Um, you don't really have like a jury or five people voting on every game. It's just like whoever plays your game. Um, you have to make a game to be able to rate others. So it's developers rating, but still, you don't really know which developer is rating your game. But we're still really proud of uh, what we achieved, and hopefully next time we can, uh, um, I don't know, first place is still open, so I'm pretty hyped. <laughs> it's going to be in October though, so we're hoping to take part in another game jam at some point. Um, 
Yeah. I don't know which one. It'll probably be a one. Probably sometime in the summer. We'll take part in a game jam. And then October again is Live and Dari. Um, yeah. We've taken a part in uh, a few of them before. And, well, I mean, the people I make games with actually have taken part in like 14 at this point, which is kind of impressive. I've only been a part of four. <laughs> but uh, it's really fun every time. It's so, like, awesome to see a game just be put together in 72 hours. It's insane. And the amount of work that goes in from each party is uh, unbelievable. They're really, really talented. Um, we had a team of two programmers, one artist, five voice actors, plus me as a voice. I also did sound effects. There was a sound effect assistant who did a couple of sounds or, you know, gave a couple of sounds that I also worked with. Um, I think that's our team. Yeah. So we have every base covered and it's, it's, it's so enjoyable. So. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend that you play the game that we made. Uh, you can find the link to it in the description, um, if I remember to put it there. Um, I can't exactly put the link to John Wick in the description, but I would if I could. But you should totally check that out too. In other cool news, I am this close to starting a company. I have been in talks with various organizations and the government and so on. Um, I've written up a draft for an application so that I can continue to receive the funding that I do uh, while starting a company. Um, so that hopefully will work out and uh, we'll see where that goes. I. Uh, I don't really know how it's gonna go though. It's kind of a risky business because <laughs> if I don't get the funding, then I'm kind of stuck with no income if I start a company. And that isn't gonna be fun. So I hope it works out because if it does, that helps set, uh, or helps get the ball rolling. Um, and uh, we can really pick up on production with Sneaky Funk, which is the actual like full game that I'm making um, and hopefully we'll be picking up more on that we've already got quite far um, I say we it's mostly other people doing the work but uh, you know I'm trying to figure out the business side of things for the most part and uh, you know I have out with the design and so on so um, and then there is, what else is there? I, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. There was more that I wanted to talk about. It's just a little hard to remember. My mind is kind of <laughs> trembling. Um, Uh, yeah, let's see. I'm trying not to speak too loudly. Man, what a boring video this is. Um, hope you're enjoying it so far. If you are still here, it's kind of amazing if you're still watching. Um, let's say maybe there's some sort of hashtag. Uh, hmm. I don't know, man. Hashtag. Is it something random that people couldn't figure out on their own? Hashtag. Spray. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. It doesn't actually make sense, but hashtag spray. I've got to figure something out. Whatever. Um. <laughs> man. This has got to be possibly the most boring video that I've ever made most uninteresting, uneventful, nothing happens, what a waste of time if you're watching this. So, yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know what you're watching for, honestly. Um, let's talk about you. How was your day? Yeah. I mean, it could be worse, right? Yeah. And that's, uh, that's interesting that you say that. Because because I had a similar experience um, a few weeks ago, actually. There was this dog, and it like <sighs> well, it wasn't really happy with me. <laughs> I think I pissed it off when I uh, well, well, I thought it was just junk, but I cleaned out some stuff, and it turned out to be uh, at least among the stuff that I cleaned out was I think what was what it considered to be its toy, and so <laughs> it. Uh, Started barking at me, and yeah, that dog's gonna be crazy, man. So, yeah, I get it. Uh, <laughs> nah, I, uh, I don't know. What, uh, what else have you done? Really? And that's kind of cool. Yeah, depression is fucking rad, dude. Anxiety and all that stuff. And, uh, I mean, everybody deals with that at some point, you know? So you gotta, you gotta just stick with, I'm here. Wish you were here with me so I wasn't, uh, alone, but, you know, we gotta figure this shit out. Maybe, at the end of everything. Things will work out. You know that dog story reminds me of something else. The bitch. Yeah. There's this bitch who um, just, well, I mean, there's no other way to describe it. She was a bitch to me. You know, thinking that she's hot shit. You know, touch me all over. But, like, nothing ever really happened, you know? Never got anywhere. <sighs> what, a, what a waste of time, you know? So I was thinking that it was building up to something. Um, we were trying to make something happen so that, you know, it could be a bit of a, a, bit of a climax, but, but then nothing actually happened. They couldn't make it happen in the end. And so I try to take over myself, you know, I try to take initiative and make things a little bit better, but it turns out that it's a little bit difficult to make things happen when you're distracted and focusing on, uh, you know, making a video. So, yeah, I guess it's not gonna happen this time. Maybe another time, you know? I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did, remember, hashtag spray, even though that didn't pan out, and <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>